Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. This should be a fairly quick video. I did one recently on what tools you need to get a set of injectors out. This is, I suppose, what you need to put them back in. So there's a few extras here, not a lot. I just want to briefly say, um, just because you saw my phone number on one of the YouTube videos as it was offered to you, please be aware I'm unable to just take calls from everyone. So what you need to do is use the Facebook pages and groups and I'll just show you quickly while I'm explaining these are the pages and groups we have available okay so you might want to press pause and make a note of those and join those groups if you're in Australia Oz product crew, Oz Hilux crew are the main sort of Aussie groups mainly um, and if you've got any of these four engines you might want to get into those groups if you're specific about engine information and of course we've got this one particularly on the injectors and engine um, our pages are there providing a bit of information and of course the YouTube channels at the bottom um, we just started using well we've only been using this one about a year and this one here we've only just started using that's going to get going as well uh, and as it says at the top I don't use messenger if you call me Basically what's going to happen if I don't know you, it's just going to go to voicemail. It's set to do that. You do need to send a text message with your name, your vehicle, details, you know, year and kilometres, Prado or Hilux or whatever it is, and exactly what you're calling about. I'm very busy and I'll prioritise getting back to you. Um, if you want to make any purchase of parts, parts kits, injector kits, the big front engine kit, the wheel bearings for the front of the Pratos or Hiluxes, whatever the case may be, or the Dobinson suspension, yes, you do need to call me and it's the same process, okay? If you need individual help, uh, we can do that if we've exhausted all these other avenues. So you need to ask your questions in these groups, provide as much information as possible, write clearly, put photos, use videos. There's other people there that can help and I'll get to it. Feel free to tag me there. I'll get to it eventually, but as I said, I'm very busy. So for that reason, I can't just sit here all day and night taking personal calls from people to ask, you know, I can't, I suppose, simple things, things that are covered in videos that's why we've done it in videos and that's why we're doing this see providing the information like always so if you haven't already hit the subscribe button because there's heaps of information coming your way give us a thumbs up and in the comments you can ask your questions as i said i'm not going to be there to answer all the questions every now and then i can answer one but i do make notes and even make a mental note of the questions everybody's asking um, so that i can answer them in the next video so this is the tools you need putting injectors back in I suppose. Um, I've tried to leave all the tools that I've used on this table so that I can do this video and say well this is what we used. In the other video we sort of went through all this sort of stuff. It is mainly a 3.8 drive set, 3.8 drive. Um, here I've got a 14mm socket which I must have put away when I did the disassembly but your 3.8 drive set covers that's the to, for the windscreen wiper arms. Okay 14mm. The rest is mainly 12 mil, some extensions. I pointed out these are the King Chrome ones, the wobbly extensions. Um, Sid Chrome and Snap-on combination, 10 mil, a couple of different extensions. A uni join, another 12 mil King Chrome. So that's the majority of your tools, believe it or not, to get the injectors out, okay? It doesn't include EGR, but this is probably gonna get most of these. There's a couple other tools if you're gonna do an EGR clean, but that's in the EGR clean video, just search full EGR clean, full detail EGR clean on our YouTube channel and you'll find it. Um, this, uh, you know, a few of these tools you could do without. There's a 12 mil ratchet spanner. So the things added for reassembly. There's a couple of screwdrivers here. I don't know what we're using for. They come in handy for things. What do we use that for? I think we use this, might have been in the other video, scraping, because this, this one's quite blunt, scraping the silicon off at the front of the head where someone had been in previously and made a big mess. We mentioned the crow's foot already and we've got that ground down side of the crow's foot so that it works a bit better, right? Um, so of course we needed some feeler gauges. This is just a basic set we used to do an initial check. If the valve clearance is okay, then that's that. And if we've got a problem and we need to make an adjustment, we've got some other sets here. So we come in and we take a second opinion with these. This is a uh, Toledo set and uh, we've got a couple other sets there as well, I think. There might be a blue point set. Let me have a look. Here you go. Yeah, blue point. You know those snap-on ones. There you go. So we're gonna we're gonna do it with precision. We're gonna take a number of opinions if we need to make an adjustment. But this one's not about valkyries. It's about tools. So feeler gauges, a mirror. What do we use the mirror for? You can get away without it. But we use a torch and a mirror to look in the injector port. See, at a distance from the front of the car, we can reach in like that. 
and see the reflection. You might not be able to see this, but I'm looking at the Molly Kate in the mirror, right? So that's what the telescopic mirror is all about. You could probably do that, or you could get a what you can climb up there each time if you like. It's quicker to have a mirror to be able to do that rather than climb up and down. We already talked about the port cleaning down, even with the tech screw in the end. Another three-out drive ratchet, obviously only need one of those. This is the half-inch drive and it's got a 22 mil on it. We use that for turning the crankshaft, right, clockwise turning the crankshaft to get the valves in the position we wanted to be able to check the clearances. Um, the Ultra Grey, which comes with the injector kit, just four tiny little, absolutely tiny little jobs on the front of the head as prescribed by Toyota in their workshop manual procedures and what we've shown in our videos. And of course the Molly coat to lubricate the O-rings on the injectors, the seals around the top of the valve cover, that sort of thing. And one of the most important things I suppose is your uh, is a torque wrench of sorts, right? This is the Warren and Brown 321500. That's what we use. We've got a couple other torque wrenches there. And the flat blade, well, we did use that. I remember to pop that rocket. What else do we use it for? When we do our um, injector alignment check, there's a system we use. That's another video, again, probably in the VIP group. And of course, we've got the impact driver there. We, you know, regularly using that, mainly pulling things apart or when you've got a bolt to turn, you want to get it done quicker just to speed things up a bit. So there you go. We've kept it pretty short. We're down to six minutes. So that's a butter bing, butter boom. As I said, if you got something out of that, this is pretty well. So the reason I'm answering this question is there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, you know, so, so what tools do we need to do the injectors? And I'm not trying to tell you that you should do the injectors yourself or not. As I said, perspective is needed um, depends on your mechanical how mechanically apt you are whether you should or you know whether you're going to say oh that was an easy job or man you know that took me days and you know i stuffed up this and i stuffed up that so it's a job you want to get right the first time so you got to be very care careful where you take it but you do want to take it to a professional because it's got to be right for the next five to ten years hopefully closer to ten or perhaps sometimes more so it is really important, but then on the same note, there's not enough people that can get this job done right. So by getting the right parts from us and then watching those videos in the VIP group might be the information you need to train yourself and get the job done right. But at least you'll have, if you watch those, at least you've got the right parts and you've got the information so that you can make the right decision. And of course, as I've said before, we've got people we can recommend around Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Perth, they're the sort of places where we've got people. Other than that, at the moment, there's a few other people around the country, but we're careful who we recommend. We're not going to just go, yeah, go here, go there. You, we're careful who we recommend. We've got some places you can try, so if you really, really don't want to do it yourself and you, I'm pretty sure someone's okay, that's probably a better risk than just going to some random or something like that, you know. People that we've spoken to, people that we've sold injector kits to, workshops, you know, trade guys, that are doing these jobs that we've spoken to a number of times that we believe are on the same page is probably a better bet than trusting you without naming anyone you're trusting your local whatever whoever wherever right anyway guys hope that answers your question that is really the tools you need to remove and refit a set of injectors on a 1kd ftv in a proto or a hilux thumbs up and also, guys, share the information around. You know, when you've got mates, friends asking, um, let them know. Get on the channel. There's heaps of information there. Do yourselves. Do them a favor. Go back through some of the older videos and watch the videos all the way through to the end. That is the way you're going to get yourself educated so that you can do the right maintenance and not worry about it. Once again, thanks for watching. Bada boom. Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada boom. See ya.